Welcome to another Business Business Skills webinar. We today are being joined by Kagan from Lumen5 and we're going to talk about the importance of video to your social media marketing. And for those of you who are a little camera shy, we're going to look at how you can make video for your business without stepping in front of the camera. So welcome Kagan. I'm excited to be talking to you about video and Mike thanks, letting us play with for... one of his new people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike was like, you know what, Kagan, you need your introduction to Lumen 5 is going to be a come and hang out for the business, business, business. <laughs> okay. Yay! I think we'll in play the with first week, he brought this up. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> no, we were pretty good. We're pretty nice. We enjoy. No. And Kagan's joined the community, guys. So if you have a question or anything that you want to talk to him about, about Lumen 5, you know, how we tag Mike, you can tag Kagan now and he can answer the questions for you as well. So it's all pretty exciting. I am excited to have Kagan here with us. And I'm looking forward to him getting started and showing us what, we, what we're doing today. Perfect. So, um, yeah, I mean, we could jump right into the product. We could do some q and I'm not sure how you, how you usually like to, what order why don't, to do Why don't we just, just start with, because a lot of our members' video is still new to them. So why is video important in social media and, and how, what should we be looking for in creating a good video most probably? For sure. So, I mean, the one point I like to make is that video, even just if you have a blog post and you have a video and both have the exact same content or message, most social networks now, as you may know, are going to show the video to more people than they're going to show the text post to. Yeah. The algorithms on Facebook, the algorithms on Twitter, the algorithm, algorithms on Instagram are for the most part prioritizing video. Yes. So even if you have a great message, you're going to get it to more people just by using video. So that's the number one thing. Uh, by 2020, 80% of all traffic on the internet is going to be video, which wow. is crazy. Yeah. Isn't that whack? Uh, Instagram stories is taking off. Snapchat is still really important. There's so many platforms now where video is first. Wow. Uh, so Lumen5, yeah, I know, it's crazy. So the idea with Lumen5 is we're trying to make it so that you can create a really good looking video in a short amount of time. The same amount of time that you might spend writing a blog post. Right? Mm -hmm. We want to make it just as easy to tweet or to make a video as it is to, to say make a tweet. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. Now guys, this is really, Lumen5 has been one of the tools and I've been on board since Lumen5 first started. I do love it. You're one of the um, originals. Yeah. I'm one of the originals. Yes. <laughs> I was before the Facebook group even started. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I know. Over there. Look yeah, at you. Really, really original. Um, so one of the things that um, I love about it is we talk about, I talk to you about in business life and about making sure that you are using the tools that are available to you and not taking 20 hours to produce a video if it's a short message out there. Um, my cover video on my Facebook page is done in Lumen 5. So it's my message about what I teach, what I do. Clive's ones are out there. Um, so when we start thinking about this today, if you don't have a notepad ready, what I actually want you to do is have a notepad ready and start thinking about what text-based components have you got that you can actually share in a better message under in video. Totally. Okay. I see there's a question. Um, from Go Rose, for it. Which I think is great. So what does Lumen5 offer over YouTube or other video making platforms? So the thing I like to emphasize is that Lumen5 is not a replacement for anything. It's a compliment, right? Your video yes. strategy needs to be, you know, it needs to be Facebook Live. It needs to be uh, like ephemeral content that's only relevant now. You need evergreen content. There's all kinds of different types of videos that you want to create. YouTube is great when you want to have your face in front of the camera, yep. right? where YouTube is fantastic. Lumen5 is where you want to take something that's written and make that visual. So yes. Lumen5 has an amazing library of media from uh, a bunch of media providers, millions and millions of images that you can use to help tell your story better. So yep. That's sort of the answer, right? It's just, it's a compliment. It's a couple of, look, and, you know, you mean, sorry, bear with me, YouTube and Facebook <laughs> and your Instagram are all your delivery platforms. So they're where you share this video message. And if you're not going to put your face in front of the camera, then I still strongly suggest that you do the text-based videos and use Lumen5. Trish Springsteen is saying that Lumen5 is one of our absolute favorites, quick and easy, and the videos look good as well. Yes. And you know like what? You can also set the branding up, guys, really, really simply and easily and multiple brands. So, Okay. I think it's time we show people what we can do. Yeah, let's jump in. So I'm going to ask questions along the way, guys. Zoom. Yeah, I like it when people ask questions. If I'm just talking the whole time, it's not a whole lot of fun. So jump in with your questions. Uh, interrupt me at any time. I'm going to figure out here how to share my screen. I haven't done that in a while in Zoom. 
Oh boy. <laughs> okay, down the bottom, little green button says share screen. Share. Uh -huh. Share. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it should well, be coming through in a minute. Your iPhone in Zoom. Zoom is so cool. I need to get get on. Oh, screen. you can do so much in Zoom. I love it. It's and I haven't played as much in the last six months as I should do, but there is so much you can do. Yeah, that's really cool. Can you see? We can see your screen. Pasta. You can see some spaghetti. I right? can see some spaghetti. Okay, great. Tag so, the telly would be uh, yummy right now for lunch if you want to make it and deliver it to us all. I'm, I, you know what? I, I will at least tell you how to make it. So I <laughs> when you were talking about having cooking uh, misadventures with the exploding spaghetti, sorry, yes. I, or exploding yep. soup, uh, yes. I mentioned I actually quite like to cook. So <laughs> what I did when I needed to come up with an article to use to demonstrate the power of Lumen 5 is I actually made my own blog post. Oh, uh, look at this. My own photos of how to make pasta from scratch. So, you can see I've got a little story here. I've got some images. I've got all this great content to use. Can I pause you for a second, Kagan, just for a second? Dawn, if you are watching this, so Dawn is one of my creative clients and, and creative Facebook users who does, or where I told you about how to blogging and how you could use video. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This layout, this format is exactly what I'm talking about. So sorry, I... Yeah. I, um, anyone who's creating this, this is, and you think you can't blog for your business, this is where you need to be. Exactly. And this is my only blog post so far. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. I, I, I made this, I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep this up. I haven't your done it Your challenge is to blog all again. Of you out there keep, keep working at it. But this is my first stab at it. So when you get to Lumen5, you can see I have this empty dashboard. It's kind of sad. I haven't made yep. any videos. Yet. We have this great call to action, create video. There are three ways to make a Lumen5 video. Two of them I think are the best ways. One is you can start with an article or a blog post, which is yep. what I'm gonna do. You can copy and paste in your own content. So if you have like a Word doc with some stuff in it, or My you can fave. start from scratch if you don't quite, if you haven't come up with the written part yet. Yep. My fave is a copy and paste. Yeah, we like working from articles because it gets you like 70 to 80% of the way there mm -hmm. to having a video. We can choose between landscape, square, and vertical. Um, Briefly Medical. touch on the differences here. I'm sure, I'm sure you, some of you are familiar with this. Landscape, wonderful for YouTube. Square, great for when it's gonna be on somebody's news feed because it'll take up more space and it's more likely to get people to stop scrolling, right? Because it'll be like, yes. draw them in. And then vertical video, all the rage, Instagram stories, Instagram TV, Snapchat. I didn't think about it for Instagram TV. Oh, that's my new play today. No, my new play for someone else to do for me today. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't jumped into the Instagram TV yet. It's still a mystery to a lot of people. I think, I think it is, it is very much a mystery to me, but I'm loving doing it. So, you know, yeah, I think everyone's just sort of in that experimentation phase of like, let's yep. see what works here. Cause it's a whole new platform. Same with LinkedIn video. A lot of people are still trying to figure that one out. Yes. So Cl and in saying and that guys, Clive, Clive is, um, on it on uh, uh, using his Lumen5 videos on Instagram. Uh, not on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Uh, whether, <laughs> uh, is it, okay, uh, Rose is asking, is it compa um, compatible with SmarterQ and other scheduling apps? Yes, I used it in SmarterQ when we were using SmarterQ here in the office. Um, I also use it in Make Edgar. I use it in Later. So we use it to schedule out to our Instagram stuff. Um, a webinar on Instagram TV. I don't think anyone knows what Instagram TV is enough yet for us to bring in a webinar. <laughs> There's you lots of people. Videos there. If you yeah. if you have success with Instagram TV, let me know. We're so yeah, happy. exactly. I'm, look, I'm keen to know about Instagram TV. I think I need to know a little bit more about the platform before we start hosting a webinar on it, though, guys. Uh, yeah, oh. and especially trying to figure out all the technical stuff, right? Yeah. Um. So we were finding that. Oh, gonna cut out for a second. We were finding that people were not customizing their videos all that much. So recently, we added in all these themes to keep I love these. Like a different look. Aren't these lovely? And you can get kind of a preview of what it would look like. Um, I'm going to choose this striking and energetic one because I really like it. I've been using that for our family capers ones. It's awesome. Perfect. So a lot of things just changed on the screen right now. On the mm -hmm. left-hand side, we have the text contents of the blog post that we were working on. And on the right-hand side, we have sort of a timeline. Oh, my computer is slowing down. Oh, okay. You've frozen for a second. Your video has gone. Oh no, okay, hold on. Jump. Why don't we jump off camera for a second? So okay. you can show. That will, that will draw less of a draw if we jump off camera. 
Oh, no. I'm going to turn my video off too. Give me two, a stopping video for me. Okay, guys, we're jumping off camera so that Kagan can show you what's going on with Lumen 5 and we're not going to draw too much from the internet. Play nicely with the That's internet, gods. Can you guys see my screen though? Is yes, that working? Yes, we can see your screen. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's the important part. We don't have. Yeah, it's just the, just the video. It didn't like. <laughs> just gotcha. us. Too much. The internet tubes were getting clogged. That's yeah. Right. So uh, left hand side, we've got our story, and when we can pick out a good narrative, our AI will jump in and it'll pick the parts of the story that it thinks is most important and add them to the timeline automatically. So this whole timeline was automatically generated by our AI. Yeah. And what's amazing about this, I think it's pretty amazing, is it'll go through our media library and find media that it thinks works really well. So in this case, when we're talking about like rolling the pasta through the pasta machine. It's actually got a pasta machine. It oh, it's got the video. Yay. Isn't that crazy? Like I, the first time I ran this post through here, I blew me away how well it worked. Oh, look, I love it. No human intervention here at all. Completely AI driven. Um, you can see it's got some other ones that it pulled in. All of them work pretty darn well. Um, this won't automatically generate for all stories, only when it thinks it can do a pretty good job. I'm gonna clear yeah. the board just so we can see what it would look like to make one from scratch. But I just wanna highlight awesome. how well this works and how we got to like the 80% mark really easily. Really quickly and easily. Yes. Yeah. So we'll clear this. Especially if you're a business you coach and you're de de delivering a very, or not a business coach, but you know, if you're an you're accountant business coach, you're delivering tips. This is a great way to share your tips on Instagram in a not Absolutely. so boring and dry format. Yeah, and you've probably all got those tips already written down, right? Yep. So you're halfway to having a video. All you need is some written word and we'll make you a video. Yep. So let's, um, let's, let's click on some text here. And each time we click, it makes a new slide for us to work from. And we're just gonna do a few more so we have a nice <laughs> video. There. Now in this case, awesome. I'm thinking I wanna post this on Instagram. And yep. you guys may know this, but you need to keep it under a minute for Instagram video. You can see at the top here that we're at 53 seconds, which is great. That, yep. We can speed it up a little bit more if we want. Yes, I and love this that is new. transition. Yeah, isn't that great? And this is new, actually. If you want to customize the timing of a slide exactly, you can now do that. Perfect. This was not possible even three weeks ago. So if you want to fine tune it, you can. It wasn't possible three weeks ago, guys, because I was. that was the last time I made a video. That's <laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know we want to yeah some people are control freaks we're accommodating that in the for most people though we want to try and take care of that stuff for you so you don't have to think about that um let's go over to the media library so a few things you can grab from here we've pulled the images from the article so in this case i probably want to use some of these images because i think they're quite nice Yes. Drag them over. I'm not, I'm not really being too picky with, with where each image goes. Obviously, I'd take more time if I were working on this on my own. <laughs> we can start to see how easy it is to swap in content from the blog post or the news article or wherever you happen to be taking it from. Um, you can also bring in, uh, do other searches. So if we want to do something like, let's say, search for Italy, right? It's kind of set the scene a little bit here. We can do that. Here's the Italian flag. That yes. Makes good right here. And this, this library is huge. I think our count right now is at like 20 or 30 million pieces of media. And all of the stuff that's in this library is available for free. Fantastic. Really fantastic. We actually just added more content in the past couple of weeks for all free users, which is great. Wow. Yeah. And one thing that we added for our business customers is Getty integration. Not sure if anybody's familiar with Ooh, Getty or has purchased yep, Getty image, yep, yep. before, but Getty, like a single image from Getty to own can cost between a hundred to $300 for a single picture. We've met somehow, I don't know, Mike was in charge of this. I don't know what he did, but he managed to convince Getty to let all Lumen5 business customers access their entire catalog. I think that's awesome. So is that working with the with the Getty and the iStock images? So oh, we main, we've got a partnership with iStock too here, guys, that will get you a 20% discount that's in the group as well um, that you can get access to. Um, but, yeah. yeah, to be able to access your – so, yeah, I mean, they're all the same company in the end. 
<laughs> well, what's really nice about Getty, right, is that it has uh, good like video library, current too. events content, right? Yes. So our old library is more stock images. Getty is all about like if I wanted to do. So we just had the international, the Toronto International Film Festival was about a yes. week ago. We called TIFF. If you search from that, you get content from that event. Right, so if something happened today or yesterday, Getty is going to have content for that. Content, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, so when we're talking about making videos that are uh, like ephemeral, you know, they're just for now. They're gonna they're relevant now, but it might not be relevant three days from now. Getty is where you're going to get that content. How cool is that? Yeah. Rose has just asked: Is there a trial or a free version? Rose, I think there there is. Is there still a free version, Kevin? Yes, it? absolutely. So we have a really really I don't fantastic know. free version. Um, doesn't include Getty, as you can understand. We yep, have to pay of course, quite yep. a bit of money. But you can, in the free version, see what it would be, be like to incorporate Getty. So you'll be okay. able to drag in things from Getty, but you won't be able to export. Export it until you pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have GIF integration, which is, I think, quite fantastic. So if we search pasta in here, if we want to add a little bit of, like, I don't know, comedy to our video, we can do that. I think this is pretty cute. Fantastic. Rose, in actually to answer that question for you too, do you know what? This tool is so much time saving. It is worth the investment. It, it is not something, um, and we don't have a partnership or an affiliate arrangement with Lumen5. It's just one of those tools that I honestly say to people, it is worth the investment to set your branding up and not have to go back and do it and, you know, get your information in there and just use this tool. Um, it's a case of, it's one of those tools from the very, very start that I said, I love, and we need to show our BDD members that this is something that you can be using. Yeah. I mean, I think the thing I want to really get across to people is like, this doesn't look like a tra like traditional video editing software, right? Usually if you're using something like Final Cut, which is, you know, very advanced, yep. there's tons of buttons everywhere. You've got this complicated timeline along the bottom. Um, if you've ever used a tool like Canva, it's kind of similar it's to Canva that. It's Canva for video. Like, yeah. It kind of is like Canva for video, right? Because you don't, it doesn't look like traditional video software. It's not overwhelming. It's all about the content. It's all about the story. It's not about dragging and dropping things everywhere and like a yes. complicated layering. It's, we take a lot of that worry away and, and sort of take care of that ourselves, um, which I think is really great. So uh, a couple other features I'll highlight here. You can customize each slide in a bunch of ways. We talked about the timing. Um, there's also highlighting. So if we want to highlight a particular part of the text, we can do that. Our AI will also try to automatically highlight for you based on what it thinks the most important words are. Yeah. It usually gets that pretty right. So in this case, it chose Italy, highlighted that. I would say that's probably the key part of this sentence. Um, we'll also, this is really cool, move the text depending on what the background is. So if we drag different things here, it'll move the text around where it thinks the most empty space is. Yep. Which is really That's important. really handy. Yeah. Because that so means you don't have to be a graphic designer to put your video together. That's sort of the idea, right? We're trying to make good design decisions for you. Um, but you can change things around. You can change the positioning if you don't agree with our decision or the AI's <laughs> decision. You can get rid of the text altogether if you would like. Uh, and you can make it smaller text or bigger text. That is cool. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit, or you mentioned uh, setting up your brand. Yes. So you can set up a, uh, a watermark, if you would like. I've made this one here. It's kind of cute. It says Kagan's Kitchen. Can't really see it, though, so we're going to make it a little bit more prominent. So you could put your brand up in the, or your logo up in the corner there. And then you can also, uh, using our themes as sort of a starting point, make changes to all the colors uh, based on your brand. Yes. Okay. Can we just show, can I, can we show you in the highlight color there? Can you just, cause I've got lots of clients using this software as well. Can you click yeah. the more button and just, I want to show you guys where they can copy and paste their hex codes into, because I think that this is the end of the colors. So the more button here, see where the hashtags and everything are guys. And I know no one can see me pointing at the screen, uh, but with the hash and little <laughs> code. Is... Mildly at it here. I'll move my mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm gesturing and it's all good. There. But where, where that is, is where you can put your brand colors. So when you've got your logo, your style guide and all of those sorts of things, so that's where you put, in my case, my reds and my blacks, but in family cases, Caper's case, maybe our pinks and our blues, so that those videos are coming out on brand. Yeah, and what we have, we have a lot of larger clients, what they're doing is they're getting their like video people or their design people to set up the branding. Yep. And then they can just hand it over to people on their team who aren't very like 
design minded mm -hmm. and they're basically forced to make good design decisions, right? Yeah. Because th it's all set up for them, right? Um, whereas, you know, if you put somebody who doesn't have that eye, they might not make that, those good decisions. No, it's no, no point to put my accountant in there. <laughs> totally. Uh, so yeah, you can change fonts. Uh, you can upload your own font fonts. if you're on the business plan. This is huge, guys, to make sure that if you have got your own fonts, upload them. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you own the font as well. It's yes, important please. to make sure uh, <laughs> people are getting paid for that stuff. Uh, you, can, you can get rid of the background altogether. Uh, you see when there's no background, actually we'll add a bit of a fade to the, the background. Yeah. So you can still Which I like. text. So if we put the, see how that changes a little bit? All about ensuring, uh, you know, readability. You can also do the bar style yep. if you prefer. And you can change the background color and the opacity of the background as well. Which is cool. You see that's all adjusting live on the fly. Um, so, yeah. Andrew asked, yes, yes, you can import fonts. <laughs> I think we answered it as she asked the question. So yes, we can, yeah, import. You can import fonts only yep. on the business plan, however. On so the business plan. if you're on the free plan, you're limited to our, our themes. If you're on the pro plan, you could change just about everything here. Yep. Use one of our 35 built-in fonts, uh, but you need to upgrade to business to upload them. Upload fonts. Yes. And... You've got the ability to change the screens, the transitions on your scenes as well, which I love. Absolutely. That was a cool thing. Absolutely. We've got the kind of like Star Wars uh, sh <laughs> swipes, <laughs> sort of Star Wars style. We've got clean transitions and we've yep. got feeds as well. Um, and again, you just have to change the setting once and it'll change it through the whole video. You don't have to go in and change each transition manually like you would in traditional. And if it's traditional software. editing software, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just need to make the change the one time, which is fantastic. And you can choose the animation uh, for when the text comes in as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play that bit next. I've yeah. missed that bit. Yep. My, see, Mike yeah. would be happy. He'd go, oh, there's something we missed. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, I mean, that's the, the, the gist of it. Oh, and I didn't mention this as well. If you have your own pictures or your own video, you can upload those as well. Mm, I have a client doing that very, very well. They have yes. got, they make some beautiful boards and they upload their boards and with stories behind it. So they're serving boards. Yeah, and, the, and then once you upload that, if you reuse that content a lot, it'll stay in here, right? So yep. if you have like an intro video that you like to use, you can upload it and you could drag it into your first slide yes. every time if that's what you want to do. We've got lots of clients doing that as well. Yep. Um, one other thing I want to highlight here, um, at the very beginning, you chose between landscape, square, and vertical. You can change this at any time, which is great. So you can make awesome. one video, edit it, and then export it for another format. So mm -hmm. if you want to share it also on Instagram stories, you could just come back, edit it, change it to vertical. You don't that's have to cool. The, you don't have to move the text around. You don't have to make any changes. We do all that for you. Beautiful. So that one video can be used across multiple platforms with ease. Rose has asked us about music, which I think we're just about to head off to. Mm-hmm. Music. So you, we have a huge number of tracks in here. Uh, all of these are like, uh, I guess, like copyright free or the cop or like they're or like free. For commercial yep. use, which is very important. Uh, you can preview them. You've got your ear, you ear pods in no one hear it. No that. one else will be able to hear that. <laughs> no one else can hear it, but it's playing in my ears right now. Um, but you can also, you can sort it by mood, which is great. There's and all kinds of good stuff Down the here. side, guys, you're able to see how long the minutes are to make sure that it matches up to your video because the last thing you want is yes. a music end halfway through the video. Yeah, so what we will do though is if it's too long, we'll fade it out at the end. So at least yep. it'll kind of transition quite um, pretty nicely. Um, you should do well. We have a new partnership uh, that I can't announce all the details of yet, but in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be getting a ton more music. Yay! Yeah. So that'll be really, really fantastic. That makes if us all excited. On... Sorry? That makes us all excited. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, so I've had clients that are in here and they're like, how do I choose a track? It's taking me so long. I don't know which one to use. Uh, the numbers vary on this, but it's said that anywhere between 80 to 90% of videos on social media are watched on mute. Yes. So pick a nice song, but don't obsess over it too much because most people aren't even going to hear it. 
And my tip on this, guys, with music is pick three or four songs that you use mm -hmm. across your videos so that that sound becomes consistent, just like your look and your feel, that sound becomes that is, consistent across point. your brand. Yeah, absolutely. Audio is just as much a part of your brand as, as exactly. The um, uploads are also supported. I warn people, please don't upload copyrighted content no. um, unless you're just using the video internally and you're not sharing it online. You know, if you put, I don't know, Coldplay in there, it's going to get taken down. You're going to get copyright complaints. Yep. You don't want to deal with that. It's not worth um, it dealing with. Yeah. But certainly a lot of brands have a very specific uh, audio track that maybe they've purchased. Yes. There's a, a site called Audio Jungle that I use quite a bit for this. You yep. might pay $50 or whatever and you own that track and you can use it however you want. And Premium Beats, another one that we use here in Australia yeah. quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, I've used them as well. Uh, so if you own a track, if you're on the business plan, you can upload that as well. See, business is so worth it, guys. <laughs> yeah. For the, I mean, the business, the two Business is worth it for the control freaks in me. <laughs> exactly. And the people who really want that Getty stuff, right? You yeah, exactly. Search up politicians and current events and um, oh, yeah. new things and, and all that kind of stuff. It's all in there. So um, what about, the, uh, if you've already made a video, can you, can it be edited here? Um Rose, if it's a video that you've made outside of Lumen 5, your editing is going to be, be a little bit restricted. Yeah. So if you were to import the video, yep. you would only be able to be in one slide, if that makes sense, right? Yep. So you wouldn't really have, like, it, it, it's really not ideal. If My suggested have, tool for that one is yeah. wevideo.com. I'll pop it in. Yeah. Or if you have, you know, if you have a Mac, even iMovie, it would be great for that. Yep. Um, Windows Movie Maker will allow you to edit stuff too if you're a PC user. Yeah, I got started on Windows Movie Maker, so that worked <laughs> well back in back in the day. But then I've since back, switched over. To back Mac, in two thousand so. and something, something, something. <laughs> um, but if you have individual clips, you can upload them into here too. And um, your intros and outros for your videos, guys. This is huge. Ooh, this is where yes. you can brand, and you get your credit screen at the end. But put your outro in there. If you've got an introduction video, pop it in. Yes. As far as outros go, actually, I meant to touch on this. We <gasps> give you that built in. So yes. if you have a logo, I don't, oh gosh, do I have anything good? There's some picture, another picture of some food. We'll just upload that for now. Uh, but if you have your brand, your logo, you can upload this here and then you can change the call to action. So you can say, share this video, or you could say, buy my ebook or share this <laughs> to my mailing list or now guys when we're talking about building engagement on social media this is your perfect opportunity to ask them a question to take action so if we're sharing it on facebook what do you think or what's your tool or tell me in the comments it's a yeah, really good opportunity to build uh, that engagement yeah, yeah. we've got to ask our audience to engage so you can, you can add that sort of engagement, that call to action, that ask, you know, you spend this part of the video inspiring, yep. right? telling a story, and then here you give them an action to take, right? Oh. Um, right? Isn't that kind of a nice way to look at it, right? You that inspire, is good. And, then you, uh, and then you ask them to do something, right? Rose, um, Rose says she's old, she uses Movie Maker. Can I let you in on a secret, Rose? So do we still here when we're lazy? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it automates I still, everything I for us. Stuff like that too. There's a time and a place for Lumen 5, right? Yeah. It's not for every kind of video. It's for this sort of storytelling Telling. type of video. Now, Kate, um, I've got a number of videos in my Lumen 5 account on the pre-made components from the RSS feed because I noticed yes. yours is either fresh and new. Yes. Would you like me to show our members that one? Okay. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. Yeah. I'm just thinking that I noticed yours is rather fresh and new, whereas mine's got a whole heap in here. Uh, uh, I, I made a fresh one just for this webinar. I oh. have the actual dashboard is incredibly messy. <laughs> <laughs> well, so is mine, guys. But what I might do is I might share my screen and take you in for a bit of a tour because some of you will know some of these articles. So yeah, uh, I love so, that. I would love um, to see what you've been doing. So let's yeah. See. So shh, I'm not working. I'm not showing you anything or using a mouse, guys. There you go. Okay, so what you can see here is I'm literally on my Lemon 5 dashboard. And this is where our, our videos that we've already made are. Um, and this was the promo video right here that I made for our skills webinar. On Lumen 5, with a little bit of text that was going out a couple of weeks ago. But and these are ones that I've run on blog posts. But here, oh, I didn't want to click on that. Well, I did anyway. Um, let me hit the back button and we'll go back to the dashboard. 
so that we're there. Here we go. Regional internet is fantastic and fun. So what you're seeing <laughs> now here is if we go to the instant videos and we wait for the regional internet to catch up with us, my RSS feeds that we have dragged across from business, 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 from Clive's site, from Media Connections and from my blog are all here. And you know what? Making this five minute me time one is a good one. So we're going to go and make that one up today. This is a blog post that I wrote on creating five minutes of me time for mummies. Um, I'm going to want to share it socially. I don't particularly want to put this on that on YouTube. And here you can see I've got our three brand presets that we use Lumen 5.4. So BBB's here, mine's here, Clive is there, Clive's is here. So we'll click on my brand preset and then it takes everything across. I love so that. The AI is picking just, everything uh, up. Just to touch on the, the instant videos again. Yep. So the idea is anytime you publish a new story, it creates one. Yes. Prompts you to make a video. So you'll actually get an email as well. I know. Lumen5 nags me to tell me I've got a new yeah, video. It's like, hey, <laughs> a video. Hey, hey, make video. That's, yes. that's what we're trying to do. So you can see, guys, that we've got create the video titles up here and we've got the excerpt. So my big quotes are popping in. There's an opportunity out there to be able to go through and put the text in. So creating five-minute me time. Lots of little key text that I can now create into that video. I would actually clear this one, but that's because I'm a control freak <laughs> and go and grab. <laughs> but you can see, and if I wanted to, most of the stuff is there. But So if I wanted to do that or... So I'd be grabbing out of this one. Hang on, let me clear. I haven't cleared for a while, Kagan. How do I clear the settings? Oh, there should be a thing at the top that tells you to do that. But I think when you come from instant videos, because it's not going to let me do it. Yeah, instant, exactly. It doesn't let you. So what you'll have to do, this is actually- I get, place I'm going to delete some screens out. <laughs> yeah, you can just click, 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 click. And, and see, and this is really handy, guys. See how it's asking me to confirm the delete? I have to click twice. So you cannot delete something by accident. I'm going to, I do want to leave that message in there. So Trust what we will me, do. I do support people still find a way to delete things by accident, but you know what? <laughs> well, hopefully, my, I'm trusting that my members are actually really, really good. No, you guys are a smart group. I'm not yeah, they're smart them. people and they know this sort of stuff. Um, so well, this, you in, know, you know is, those, those prompts that come up and they're like, do you, like, you have to read a bunch of stuff and you click okay. I just click yep. okay without reading them and it gets me. Ah, uh, so that gets you into trouble. Um, mm -hmm. This is a um, blog post that I wrote back in 2013. So the introduction is there. No one needs to know about that if they want to, except it needed a new image for my site. Um, so I'm going to take that key quote because I wanted to put that quote into my blog. So there we go. We've got a nice little mummy picture in there um, as a mum, which is all great. Um, yes, um, two key statements from there. I'm not going to worry about the one I was reminded about. Everyone's going to know where they are. Um, but as so, and then going into the next key message for me in that particular blog post here, which is as a business mum, it's better to then have the wheels fall off. Okay. And here are some five minutes. So we'll grab that idea. We'll grab this idea. And this one's going to go over a minute, I think, knowing me. I love watching people do this because it's... Grabbing this one. Oh. It has their own little different way of using Lumen 5, right? It's, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, getting a magazine do 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 and i've got some spacing issues in this one <laughs> yeah hide a magazine and protect it from drawings is always a big one okay and then this key statement here i'd love to hear about how other mums in business get some five minute me time so uh, i'm just going to put that one in there now i think our time will definitely be over a minute because we'll be up so at normal speed we're over a minute if i want to move it faster for instagram I'm a minute 47. So you know what I'm going to oh, do with this one? It's dead. Oh, 28. That's not too 128. bad. 128. Yeah, I know, but it's still not getting me in. I'm going to make it an Insta video for Instagram stories. Okay. So at this point, you could do uh, two things to get it in under a minute if you wanted to. You could delete some slides or remember that advanced function I showed you. Now that you can ah, individual slides. Let's do it. Keep them all up. Keep let's in mind, do though, that we've optimized it so that each slide is there for as long as the average person takes to read. So if you speed it up too much, they might not be able to read it. Exactly. So we might look at deleting some slides out. I will get this one actually up and running on Instagram later on today for you. But what I also wanted to show you was if you don't like the media, because this is a big function as well, it's put the media in there. And look, I'm a control freak. I don't always like the media that I get. Um, I might go and grab some of these photos over here 
Uh, oh, I like this one. See, coffee time. See, that, that suits me better. So I'm going to pop that one. And it's just a matter of dragging and dropping that media that I like that sits my, suits my brand directly into oh, the file, which is nice and, and easy And notice we're not looking at pictures of airplanes or something completely unrelated. All of the no. recommendations here are based on the contents of your article. Yeah, exactly. Which and if you want to, so you can search. You can search family. Yeah or mum or something like that. So you can search all of the keywords. So I just thought I'd show you what it was like to know, get that nag. And they're not doing anything with it like I do. Uh, get, but <laughs> they are all there sitting there waiting for us to remind me that we've written good content to be able to do that. So I will stop sharing my screen now and let Kagan do that, do his, and I will get the girls to finish that off for me later on today so that I don't continue to hurt these burnt arms with a video editing. Um, but that's how simple was... it is. Yeah, let me... Should we go back on screen or... or we... You got uh, more shows. No, you got more shows. Yeah, yay. Can you see my screen again? Yeah, I can see your screen again. Okay, go back. I just want to show the one last thing. That we go have, for it. Which is exporting. Oh, yes. Um, and what to do there. And then I think we're pretty much set with the with the, the demo here. So if once you've decided you like your video, and I'll be honest, I don't like mine. I haven't spent enough time on it. But like, <laughs> <laughs> See, whereas I went, I'll finish mine later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's hard to talk and make a nice video at the same time, right? But let's say that I love it. Um, when you click finish, if you're on the free plan, you can export at 480p, which yep. for mo and most people might be okay. Uh, if you're on the higher plans, you get access to 720p and 1080p. Now, um, if you're using this for course creation too, especially if you're using, because I use it as part of my Thinkific course creation to break up some of the boring text, mm -hmm. 720 is the highest you want to outload it at. Otherwise, you'll hit Smart, file, -ish size, file size issues uh, loading them up. One thing I want to touch on, and this has come up more and more now that we have Getty integration, yes. is if your video contains editorial media, we'll notify you here. We'll actually notify you in a few places. If you're looking at your, your slides, if you have editorial media, we'll put this ED. Yep. Um, and then also while you're searching through the library, uh, let's see if we can find one that has this. <laughs> that we can't find. Most one. of the GIFs are editorial only. Yeah, so we'll put yep. at the bottom editorial use only. So we'll try to like tell you in a bunch of different places. Editorial only means that you can't use that video clip for commercial purposes which gets a little bit complicated. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you're a business, you can't use it. it. You just have to be telling a factual story. Story. So the example I like to use is if you were to go into Getty and you pull up a picture of a politician, and since we're in Canada, we'll search for <laughs> Trudeau, who's our prime minister. I could make a video, even as a business, it's just storytelling. That's just saying like Trudeau signed, signed a trade Document. agree That's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah you can do something like that but what you couldn't do is say trudeau is a big jerk or something like that <laughs> do anything that's slanted or that's meant to persuade or is meant to make you buy something so true yep. trudeau says buy my product uh course <laughs> you can't do that no. so it's complicated um, there's a lot of gray area. Basically, when in doubt, if you feel like your video might be leaning more towards commercial, stay away from this editorial content. Guys, from my point of view, if you're telling a story, you can use it. So if you're a publication, something like Family Capers, and, Family Capers or BBB, and you're informing and educating, yes. then you're fine. But it is always a gray area. And 90% of the time, if I hit an editorial one, I'm backing out because it's just not worth the risk. Yeah, it's really, really tricky. And ultimately, we're not the ones at Lumen5 who are making the decision about whether yep. it's editorial or commercial. We're not going to come after you, but Getty might. Right? Getty, Getty might. might. See your video and say, uh-oh, that's not how you use our content. Um, I think it's something about two-thirds of Getty con content is editorial only. Yeah. Some of it you can use for commercial, um, but just keep that in mind. So if you wanted to run a latest news on politicians or, or something like that, then you could you could do that or you could tell a story, but you cannot slant it. Um, and totally. like if you're, yeah, if you're a real estate agent and you are making a video about, uh, you know, a politician passing a law that affects real estate, you could yep. you know, totally fine. You can make a video about that, but you couldn't make a video saying that you don't like that policy Tisha, or yep. that it's bad. So it has to be factual to use editorial content. Yeah. 
exactly. Pretend you're a newspaper, but not the editorial section. Right? For those um, of you who <laughs> took the Skills Summit, jump into Stephen Brown's session and have a look at that one. We should have Stephen Brown. We'll have Stephen definitely talking on Clive's podcast, so I might actually get him to talk about IP and images as one of those that come up. Perfect. So once you're sure it's okay to have editorial and you like the look of your video and you've chosen the video resolution, the last step is just to hit finish. Um, and that's it. And you can put make it silent or you can put your audio in so you do get that second prompt. Yeah, if you've made it silent, we'll let you know. Um, I'm just gonna jump over to my messy dashboard. <laughs> your messy dashboard. <laughs> this is one, oh, this one's not too messy. I have a few that are messier. That's, that's um, good. I was gonna say, my dashboard's messier than that. <laughs> and I yeah, was prepared to show people. Check this one out. Uh, yeah, that's not too, too bad. That's not bad. So once your video is done, it'll be in the recent videos uh, view here. Yep. And you can see I've made a nicer version of this cooking Italian one previously. And when you click on that, so two things. One, we'll email you when the video is done rendering. Typically, they take about five to 10 minutes, depending on um, how long it is. And how busy the time of day is. you get a link to this. You can upload directly to Facebook, or you can download it and use your social media tool of choice or Move it over your programming your tools program. yeah we you can but if you want to go right to facebook you can do that here yeah guys i'm a big and one for loading if you your video has got evergreen content ability to it load it to face load it to your smarter q or your meet edgar or your programming buffer or whatever programming tool that you're using so that you don't forget about this video because you put time into making it if you want to load it natively to Facebook, that's great. And by all means, do so. But then remember, if it's going to be evergreen, something like Italian cooking, make sure that you put it in on a long one. <laughs> Rose, you're oh, welcome. Yes, exactly. Italian cooking is always relevant, right? Always relevant. Must eat pasta, always. lots more. Um, and then, yeah, one last point here too, is if you watch the video and you go, ah, oh, I should have done something different. <laughs> like I'm, I'm laughing because it happens to me all the time. Yeah, I know. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna have to wait another five minutes for it to render. Uh, yeah, it happens to yep. me too, especially when you're a perfectionist. You can yep. go in and edit the video. Um, even when we say edit, we're always making a duplicate. So if you actually just want to update this with new information, but you want to keep the old version, when you go edit, it'll make a copy. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. So we'll never overwrite anything because we know that, you know, people do it's that. better to have those, those backups, right? And you can go in and you can see, here's a much, you can see this one I've put yep. a little bit more thought time into here. Um, you can go in and make some changes to it as needed. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So, I guess Does I'll any, just turn it over. Is anybody in the audience have more questions for questions, me? Questions, go uh, ahead and ask. Now's the time. All right, I think we might turn our videos back on, Kagan, so that people yeah, can see. Yeah, let's do that. Let me figure. I'm gonna let's, stop sharing. Let's turn this. Let me stop sharing. Turn and yourself back on. Start video. Oh, there it is. Hello. Hello. Sometimes video does eat a little bit when you try to screen share as well. Um, guys, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. This is your opportunity to be able to tap in that to the, the brains of Lumen5 and find out how to make it work for you. Um, uh, the special offer link I've popped up into the chat box again, uh, which will give you 25% off for your first 12 months. So it's a really good investment in your business. It is something that saves us a dramatic amount of time in creating you know, videos. With that coupon code, you can double that up on the annual plan. So the annual plans are already 20% off. Oh! Right? Front for the year. You can stack the 25% on top of that. Usually with coupons, you're not allowed to stack. We let you stack this one. Oh, isn't he being awesome? I know. Isn't that nice? I know. It's <laughs> so lovely. If you're convinced and you're like, yes, Lumen5 yep. is going to be something I'm going to use from now on. Uh, make the jump to that annual plan. Absolutely. So, um, Carly, you're welcome. I'm glad it's been a great intro to this, this tool in, in this software because that's what we like to do in these skills webinars is actually teach you stuff you can use within your business. So I'm excited that you are there. Okay. Do we have, we got one in the Q&A. Let me go into the Q&A. Um, can I recommend, can I recommend a good camera? <laughs> uh, do you know what's really, really funny is while I was talking to you, everyone here, my husband's webcam has just arrived, which is the Logitech Brio that we've just ordered, which is 4K oh, resolution and all. Yeah. I know. He gets the good tools. Well, I'm going to go steal it in a minute. <laughs> I thought he doesn't like being on camera, though. Why does he get the good tools? He stuff? does coat. Well, see, yeah, that's the thing. You know, I might take it. But um, <laughs> that one, I do, so that's the one I've got. But I've heard the uh, Logitech 922 is also a really cool one to use. Um, depends what you want to do video for. I do these webinars here live on my Tab Pro. So I'm using the Smart Cam. 
smartphone, tablet, camera inside what I'm doing. And most of my course recording I do on that because I can talk to the little Samsung logo in the center and look like I'm actually talking to the lens. Totally. And if you want to get real fancy with it, uh, something I'm experimenting with, uh, yes. if you already have a DSLR or a nice camera mm -hmm. that has HDMI out, you can get a little device uh, called the Elgato Cam Link. And it Ooh. plugs in via USB and you can plug in any HDMI input. And that can include like your, I don't know, your Canon DSLR yep. that, that you have. And then you can get that kind of like, I don't know how well, it, how good it looks over. No, it's Ooh, looking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's very clear. In, back in the background, right? Yeah. So uh, that kind of look uh, to your videos, which is sort of nice. Okay. Well, Clive but. can have his new toy and I might get another new toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cheap. They're, they're, so, they're not too bad. Yeah. Then, and guys, look, you just play. You do what you can do with your video, what you can do for the meantime. But bearing in mind, most smartphones at the moment uh, will give you things. And if you're using an Android smartphone, the open camera app will sync your voice with your audio a lot better. Good tip. Good tip. Yep. No, I'll let that one the hard way. <laughs> Guys, if no one else has got any questions, we're going to wrap up for today. Next week's webinar is all about doing more in our business. So we've been joined by Jordan from Focuster. He is going to, and I don't like the whole 10x thing, but he's going to teach us how to up our productivity in our businesses without actually doing more hours or more time and how we can actually gain some better opportunities through focus. So if you head to business, business, business forward slash dot com dot au forward slash skills, you can register for that one. And for those of you who maybe don't know it, Clive is running a business questions answered webinar where you get to tap into 30 plus years of business plus his uh, 15 years of business coaching experience so that you can ask him any question about your business in a private webinar, which is limited to 10 people. And that's next week on the 26th as well. So, that's it. Kagan, thanks for joining us. And welcome thanks to your first initiation in a BBB much. webinar. I'll throw my own 10X out there. I, oh, yeah, sorry, 10X out there? With video. I'm going around too, so. Uh, and for those of you wanting to watch a replay, we'll have the replay processed and hopefully up on the site by around six o'clock tonight for you. Oh, and there is a Lumen5 Facebook group. So definitely join there us there. Is. The Beautiful. I'll pop you, if you want feedback on your video, they know more than I do. They're great. Yep. So just um, they're lovely people. Kinds of feedback. Yeah. Yeah. I will pop that link to the Facebook group in the replay video as well. So there we go. Thanks for joining us, Kane. Thanks for being here with us, and I will see, see you later. all next week. Bye. Bye.